What up, y'all? This is Grime in the Place to Be, G-R-H-Y-M-E. Yeah, just saying what up to all my people out there. Um, this is going to be my video about the ABK show in Tempe, Arizona last night. Uh, pretty fresh-ass show. I'm going to go into detail about first what I got for free, um, then about the performances and some other shit that I got to get off my chest. I won. I bought my ticket from Intrinsic, got to free. UGH Volume 30, uh, hosted by Potluck. I uh, haven't listened to it yet, but I'm going to see what this is all about. It should be pretty fucking fresh, hopefully. And then we got another free CD from him. I guess it's a Predator one, Underground Hustling. Um, well, hell, it's free shit for a ninja, so hell yeah. Plus the tickets were a little bit cheaper in advance, so yeah. Props out to, and love out to Intrinsic for hooking it up. Alright, um, let's see. It was up in the show. First up on the stage was um, these cats from Chalk Line, uh, Red Fam, all that shit. Um, honestly, I don't remember what the name of the group was. Um, I didn't even know these ninjas was going to be on stage when I went up to the show. Um, but they did their thing, you know, these some underground cats. Can't remember the name on for the life of me, though. Uh, but these cats did their thing, they, uh, they got a lot of love from the fam and shit, you know, they had a lot of people show up who knew who they were, so, they did their damn thing, not my, not my favorite shit, but like I said, they did their thing, so, it's all good. Next up was Intrinsic, you know, oh by the way, the cats from the Chocolate and their local Phoenix people, anyway, on the Intrinsic set, um, he did some shit up there, he had... He had McNasty up on stage from him all the way from Oklahoma, which is pretty fresh, you know. Homie came out there, did put the thing down in Arizona. Like a little, that good shit, you know, what we got out here. Um, well, it was pretty good, you know. Um, I don't know if it was the right crowd, because, you know, ABK show, probably his stuff would have went over better with more the punk rock people like uh, Cottonmouth Kings, you know, some people from Sub Noise, you know, maybe uh, Dirtball. Nonetheless, he put his shit down. He did pretty fucking fresh, so. You know, Clown Love to, to Intrinsic, that's what's up. Um, chilled with him for a minute, you know, talked about some shit. Hopefully get some tracks popping off with him soon. But we'll see if that goes down. Also, like I said, on his set, was Nasty was up there, you know, doing some shit. But, you know, I got to meet him after the set, and he was fucking chill as fuck. You know, I just came up and said, yo, thanks for showing up, dog. I heard your shit, but never seen you live, so there we go. And I had to babble with him about some bullshit later, but that's neither here nor there. You know, that I'll cover that in the next part after I know the performances. But it was some bullshit. Not about him, though. He a cool, he a cool cat, dude. He was over there, we was drinking and shit, behind the bar and shit, you know, just chilling. All right, after that came up was, uh, oh, and they did this song, um, but sex change. They did over the beat to uh, "You Give Love a Bad Name." He took that instrumental, you know, something like oh, "A Chop to the Balls and You're in Pain." You just had a sex change. That was pretty fucking fresh. Oh, <laughs> funny that song, and I was a little tipsy at that time, so I was like, yeah, I, I, I. Um, then came up was uh, was A and B. They did their thing, they put it down. Um, honestly, I saw AMB at the gathering. I liked them a lot better before they even got signed to Psych. Like, I ain't hating on them. Like, honestly, though, um, when they was, before they did that shit, what was the name of that shit? Like, Enchanted Forest or Emerald Forest? Some, I can't remember the fucking name of the album, but. But they put out right before they got signed to Psych was their best work in my opinion, personally. Um, they did a, I think, one or two tracks off of Blood In, Blood Out. Um, I remember they did Bullets Flying Everywhere or whatever it was. You know, they did their thing. They got lots of family love and shit. You know, they put it down. They showed their love to the family in Arizona, so pretty happy about that but like I said A and B just ain't my thing completely you know um, I ain't gonna hate on no juggalos cause you know family's family you know what I mean but 
I came to see ABK, you know what I'm saying? So it was cool to get to see them perform again. I saw them, you know, together at the 10th gathering and shit. But I don't know. Anyway, they so said they did their thing. They showed love, you know. They didn't hate on nobody. It's great, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, next up, ABK performed, right? Now the thing about this is, before ABK got signed to the Hatchet, I was fucking bumping Psycho Patch. You know, I was a Juggalo before he was even heard of by the Juggalos. You know, back when Mars was still, before Mars even was in Lotus, I was fucking down. You know, so I remember the old shit, you know, mass murder makes me happy, dead bodies make me happy, say what you will of me, we'll always have juggalo family, yeah, I remember that shit, cause I was, I was down before that even came out, but, so I didn't listen to a whole lot of ABK back in the day, I listened to some of his old school shit, you know, and I was kind of a hater, but I was like, you know what, I ain't never seen him live, so I'm gonna go to this show, see how he put it down, on the real, he played a couple jams I knew, like, hey y'all, ghetto neighbor, gang related, which was that shit, but there was a lot of shit that came out, I ain't even know, you know, but all the other ninjas that was there, you know, they knew fucking every word to that shit, dude, they some hardcore ABK fans, Phoenix, I ain't even know, <laughs> you know, there's more people that showed up there than I even have seen repping the hatchet so far since I've been up here, but yeah, he put it down, dude, motherfucker was, I'm pretty sure... I love where he started crying on stage and shit. Either that or he was sweating his ass off, you know. Either he was really feeling his shit, or uh, or he got some make some of the paint in his eyes or something. Either way, he put it down and he did a bomb ass performance. Regardless of what songs I knew and didn't know, that motherfucker fucking he put his heart into that shit, and I appreciate that more than anything, dog. So clown love to ABK for putting it down like a motherfucker, you know. Um, let's see. Oh, and then at the end of his shit, everybody's like, alright, the set's over. A few people start to walk away, but you know what? A bunch of motherfuckers stay there yelling, ABK, ABK. And Lil Jinx is up, I'm like, yo, you want to get ready to go? I think it's over. I'm like, nah, it ain't over. Trust me, if it's a psych show on AZ, it ain't over yet. So he come back out, he turn around like, oh, y'all ain't ready to leave yet? And he does a couple more jams. Like, hell yeah, dude, that's what's up. He had a really fucking fresh stage presence, good presentation. I mean, it was fucking bomb as hell. I, um... Then after the show, though, there was some bullshit. And now that I went through all that shit, you know, I told y'all the show was pretty fresh. It was worked out 15 a ticket we paid for it. Um... We're gonna get down to the bullshit of this whole motherfucker, right?